On power up, follow on indications are lit. Now we'll load a tape on here and run tape on it. Put a empty reel on the right side. Push it in on the center hub. Place the full reel on the left side here. For threading tape through the tape path, uh, press the load button. And then thread the tape through the tape path as indicated on the uh, markings on the deck. few wraps of uh, tape on it and now the tape is ready to uh, be processed. Uh, in topical operation you'll run tape uh, with the full reel on the left side and the empty reel on the right side and you'll run the tape over to the right side and then back over to the left side. Uh, this way the tape is still in its uh, original orientation on the original reel. Okay. And this is done by hitting the cycle function on the machine. Press the cycle button. Now, if desired, the blade may be engaged on the tape. Uh, simply rotate the blade so it it's contacts the tape. Uh, we don't recommend this for um, damaged tapes or tapes that have been compromised, uh, only for tapes that are in good condition, uh, as, as the blade will uh, tend to um, damage the tape more if there's existing uh, damage. Another feature of the machine is the ability to change the speed of the uh, tissues, the cleaning tissues. Uh, by this setting right here, uh, there's fast, slow, and medium. And this controls how fast the tissues are uh, moving. Um, on the fast setting, the take-up spool is moving at four revolutions per hour. On slow, it's approximately two revolutions per hour. And medium is three revolutions per hour. And you can uh, adjust the speed to slow it down if, if you don't have dirty tape and want to conserve the uh, tissue. Some of the other features of the Bow 432 machine here, we have a blade life indicator. Um, and this records, the, the machine records uh, how many feet of tape have been run with the blade engaged. And uh, it's approximately six million feet of tape um, that we re recommend be run on the tape before the blade has to be replaced. And this indicator will, will tell you when the six million feet of tape has run up uh, when the replaced light has come on. Uh, the one third means uh, it's only got a third of its life left. And, and new indicates it's uh, a, between 100% and one third of, of the blade life left. Now, uh, there's a battery that stores uh, how, how much um, life has been used on the blade and if the battery voltage gets low this indicator will come on. Um, other features right, right here the none BOT and two uh, that's only for uh, half inch data tape that uses reflective strips to uh, mark the beginning of tape and end of tape uh, to tell where the end of the tape is. Um, the reverse button makes the tape go from the left reel to the right reel. Stop button stops all tape movement. Forward moves the tape from the right to the left reel. Now when the tapes stop, 
there's normally a small amount of tension on the tape and to uh, thread the tape uh, without the motor providing tension you, you press the load button and that, that releases all tension from the tape. Press and stop again will make tension come on it. Uh, the cycle is what we ran earlier well, that will run the tape from the left reel to the right reel and then automatically go back again onto the left reel. The test button is a feature that we use just in the uh, factory for uh, troubleshooting and setting up the machine. Now up here these markings are for the stop mode select and this is an option on the machine. This machine currently doesn't have the option. Uh, but if the machine had an optical inspector, we'd be able to stop uh, the tape movement if the optical inspector detects a defect. Or you can also program a set footage where the machine will automatically stop once it reaches that footage.